This last summer, while I was building my garage, I had my lumber pre-cut, but right now it's just rough lumber. Odd lengths and sizes. So before I could use that lumber to build my garage, I needed to cut everything to the right lengths. I could do that with just a skill saw and a square. It's, that's how a lot of people would do it. But for me, it seemed like we'd be farther ahead if we built a chop saw table. With the table, I could just have a stop set at a certain distance, and then all my boards would be square as well as the same length. We just used a lot of our coal lumber that wasn't good enough for the garage, but would be more than adequate for this, as well as some scrap plywood that we had laying around. The first step was to get everything cut to length. I wasn't working off plans or anything, so I was really just kind of flying by the seat of my pants, making up as I went along. But I think it turned out okay. Here's the process we used. First off, we built a rectangle that was the right size and depth for the chop saw. You want the surface of the chop saw to be flush with the table, that way everything slides along nice and smooth. Next, we built essentially a pre-cut table and a post-cut table. The pre-cut table is where the boards would sit before they were cut, and then the post-cut table is where they would sit while they were measured. These two tables were joined by the center, which is where the chop saw sat. The legs and spacers and everything were held into place with three inch deck screws. I don't know how I would build anything around here without deck screws. Next, we added the plywood to the top, screwed it down, just used one inch screws for that. Not all of my pieces of plywood were the same length, so I just put them into place and then I cut them the, all at one time the right length or the right width of the table. So here's where the saw table building project stands so far. Basically, it's three tables. This table right here is where the saw goes. This is where the board goes before it's cut. This is where it goes after it's cut. Pretty simple design, but uh, basically these legs help tie the corners together and serve as legs. And then it's just gonna have plywood on it. And the board will get put up here, hit it with the chop saw. Then along here, we'll have a rail that we can measure on so we'll put a stop right where it needs to be and should be able to square one end of the board slide the board to the stop cut the other end and should move fairly quickly that way got to put in some braces here and then probably brace along the legs both this way and that way and then we'll have that done that should make life pretty easy okay so we got the table all built and in place now the next part is doesn't have to be level lengthwise but it does have to be flat so that's what we're doing making sure that it's flat the, and so what we're doing is just taking this string, it's from both ends, and then we'll just move the table to where uh, the string is right along the top edge and flush with the back. Once we do that, we should be good there. And then what we'll do is level it up.
So we've got their um, cutting table all done. Turns out I made it way too wide, especially in the back. Uh, the problem was right here. If I wanted to do a 45, I had to bring it forward. I could have angled this here, uh, but for this build, that's way too much effort. So, but the biggest thing we're dealing with is two by eights. So that's perfect because that's eight inches. And that'll take care of that. Got a little handy dandy tarp holder. Should be fairly flat flush across, at least enough to cut lumber. Uh, so one to do item to done. That's it. Last one, huh? The table ended up working flawlessly. And it really only took about three or four hours to get all of our lumber turned into boards. I was glad that we went that route rather than the skill saw in the square. If you're going to be cutting a lot of boards to the same length, I highly recommend you build a chop saw table too.